everybody. Oh, it's only Vampire Survivors again. Played a lot of this on the Switch. But, apparently, very little of it here. Oh boy. It's like I've done nothing on here. That's fantastic. So I get to experience it for the first time in 2024. And you get to uh, <laughs> experience it with me. Uh, it's alright. This is the Steam version. Episode 1. Let's call it that. And see, and maybe I'll just do a series of these because they won't they don't take very long. <laughs> In fact, if I can survive a half hour the first time out, I will be gobsmacked. So let's see. Alright, Antonio, only character available. Not true. If I had well, if I had ten <laughs> gold, I could unlock Imelda. So let's start with Antonio. How is everybody doing, by the way? How's your 2024 shaking out? Yeah, okay. Well, uh, okay. So slow. Oh, no oh, good. Okay. Yes. All right, and move. Okay, well, it is early. I feel like I should go for the magic wand, but I'm going to go for the King Bible because I need something around me. There, when it when it does show up. But as soon as I can level up the will, I probably the whip I probably should. Okay, spinach, yes. And let's see, got the book, spinach, Santa water. Actually, I'm not gonna go for spinach immediately, I'm gonna get Santa water going on. Let's head north, because there's a hollow heart up here somewhere, I think. Okay, well, already this is... <laughs> I need to start getting more levels into me, because I've seen a blue bat. This is a, so that should give me a power-up, in addition to any ones I can earn by... ...being careful. <laughs> That is surviving. Oh no! Okay, there it is. Good. Alright, what do we get? I've got another Bible. That's great. Oh, another King Bible kit, but we gotta get that whip up. We gotta get, get some double whip action. Nice. This is such a great game. I mean, I'm not the first to say this. Okay, I've already got the King Bible, so let's give ourselves another form of weapon, because we need something that's going to kind of fire in a direction of something, whether we're looking at it or not, depending on the circumstances. So yeah. And we got to continue heading north to see if that hollow heart is up there, because we... I don't know if we'll be able to evolve our whip on this run. Again, this is... A brand new game, uh, again, brand new. Um, I don't know how to. It's, it's a brand new run. It's a fresh profile. I mean, I've never played it on Steam before, and I thought I had. So I've definitely played it on Xbox. All right. Uh, gosh, armor or axe? Uh, axe, armor, or level up magic wand? Yeah. All right, we got a little bit of money. So now we could unlock the Melda. Is that her name? Esmeralda. It's probably a Melda. Okay, I gotta not be too choosy. Once these start coming in like this, I need to kind of like see if I could farm them. But that's you know, and that's the always going to be the tendency to try and see if I, how many I can get, the close I can get without 
you know. Oh, and then, and of course, the skeletons are coming in. Oh, that's not good. All right, well, then. Yes, okay. All right, good. Thank you, Santa Water. That's a tough one. I think we need the whip. Oh, we also need that. We need that more. Yeah, all right. So we gotta start doing the damage and getting those, uh, getting those orbs. Thankfully, skeletons aren't so tough, but that King James Bible doesn't, like, constantly go, and so... Oh boy. Well, we should probably get our spinach. Now, we don't have a fire wand to pair with the spinach. I just wonder if I'm thinking way too far ahead. But let's get, we do need some spinach, so since it's new, we definitely need to, to do a little more damage to all the stuff around us. So let's head, oh, okay, there's a box down here. Can we get to it? Hmm, that was worth it. All right, skip, B, no, X, no, Y, no. Oh, I guess I can't skip them. I guess I, I could add it around them. Okay, cool, cool down, release, yes. Okay, we need King Bible up, or we need a knife or armor. King Bible. If we can max out the King Bible, that'll give us, that'll unlock us something, I think. We're gonna, well, uh, if we can do any of these, oh, darn. Okay. Okay, good. Let's go back and no, yes, maybe. Uh, spinach whip whip. I also need like something like an, an attract orb would be great. Just don't know if they're in the game at this point. So I remember there are things that are unlocked um, from playing this on the Switch because that's where I really started like breaking this game open. You know, doing long doing runs and then understanding why I would want to try and get to 30 minute runs I mean I'll tell you it's not a bad way to kill a half hour as long as you know you've got a half hour to kill and there's no you know I suppose meditation would be fine too but like This is basically the video game equivalent of bubble wrap. It's been said. I un it has to have been said. I can't be the first person to have made that observation. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I definitely... Okay, I am desperately in need of a uh, war chicken. Can I get one? So I have no health recovery. Uh, and I have almost no health. Oh, good. Okay, they give me some. That's good. I'll take that. Could use another one, but oh, okay. Let's see. There's orbs over here. Oh, wow. We're actually moving faster than I imagined myself to be. Cool. Well, more chicken, maybe? Okay, good. That was more chicken. Yes. More for chicken, yum, I want to eat it up. So, what's been happening? I've been getting anti-social show episodes up. It went up to 103, which is the amount, uh, which is the number that... Uh, 302. That's what's in the archive. It'll Then we'll start making current episodes. But in the meantime, you know... If you've never seen the show before, there's no reason why you couldn't see it. It's a, uh, it's early indie social show episodes are a different animal than say like early Tyson Sammy Gamer shows. Um, we'll tell you though, indie social show is pretty consistent in its tone. 
if I were to... Alright, let's get my base damage up, or one more projectile. Oh, I could use one more projectile. Alright. Ooh, three things. Awesome. Looks like it's going to be... Well, I can see a bloody tear in there, or is a bloody tear? I don't know. Uh, okay, cool. And a lot of money. Really? I've got a lot of Santa water. Okay. Ooh, this is going to be good. Well, this, this might actually save my bacon uh, until I might reach 15 minutes in this run. a big mite. As I recall, I don't know if I ever got to five minutes in my earliest runs of this game, but then again, there's a lot I didn't understand about it at the beginning. Not like Minecraft levels of a lot I didn't understand, which is evidenced by my early Minecraft videos, but like... Also, follow me on TikTok, would you? I put stuff there for you. A pretty frequent TikTok releaser. I have become fairly. Um, I'm not really sure why I embraced it specifically. Or I'm also not quite sure that I have totally embraced it. But I do like putting stuff out on it. Ow. Okay, well that sucked. Okay, now we're into avoidance. Now it's just literally like try to level up, but also try to avoid getting splittered. And is that like splattered? It's it's similar. Okay, let's see here. Uh, base damage up. I should have leveled up the whip, probably. But I do need my base damage up. Oh, the big bats are out. The big bats are here. I was playing the uh, m the Xbox version of this. Uh, a session of it like two days ago I think with my son who just turned five like almost a month ago um, and my birthday's in two days my birthday's in two days so that's how I meant to inflect that going to be an old man ish I mean I don't know they say 50 is the new 20 I had to go in and try. Alright, I got one, and then I need to run in that direction. It's not well that direction, actually. It's, it's camera. Whip. Goody. Whip is up. Boy, I'll be able to unlock a bunch of stuff. Okay. So now I gotta go. Now I gotta look for things to eat. For braziers? Oh no. Okay, well. Well, that's just the worst possible scenario. I made it to 10 minutes. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, that's good because it gives me time to do another session. Okay. Well, let's see. I got some achievements. Survive 10 minutes. Oh, I unlocked Pichon. Pichone. Uh, I unlocked uh, Fire Wanda. Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So I've actually unlocked stuff that wasn't in the game before. Wings. Okay. So Hollow Heart is definitely going to be in the next session. That's what's important. So I understand what I'm looking at. All right, let's do another section. Uh, session. All right, let's see here. I gotta stop saying okay because my phone can hear it. Thinks I'm talking to it. Power up. Uh, okay, let's get our might up. Wait, okay, let's 200. 600 for armor, which reduces incoming damage. I think if I move fast enough, steady enough, and often enough, I can avoid certain amount of damage so i might want to hold on to my 600 coins just to, for this moment however getting my health up and recovery up so 200 for recovery uh weapon cooldown oh boy yeah that'd be a good one to like well if it goes faster that's great but okay and also area of attack that's cool speed duration magnet oh i need to pick up range increase and also fire in one more projectile that's oh well that's 5000 magnet's 300 
Well, it looks like it might be Might and Magnet. Let's see, Curse, I don't even know why. I still don't know why. I've been playing the Switch version for so long, or not so long, but like, I've played it so far in, and I don't understand why I would want to put any money into Curse, unless it adds just a new wrinkle of storytelling that I'm not aware of. Which I can't discount that that might be a thing. So, alright. Magnet. Definitely. Um, might. Definitely. Oh, 424. I... Max health. Or recovery. Recovery and max health are both 224. Recovery. Alright, and max health is 226. Oh, okay. Oh, aha. I see. Alright, that's good. So we got one might, we got one recovery, we got a magnet. Already we're going to... We're going... I feel like we're going to do better. I'm going to do Antonio again. All right, Bible. <laughs> yeah, good. That wasn't. That almost didn't work. <laughs> I hear this DLC of this, and I think that's what I want to work towards. So, I don't know how many people would be, even be interested in seeing these, these videos, but they're just kind of like we're hanging out, essentially. Let's level up that whip. If any, I should be Discord streaming them, maybe. If that's a thing. But I think I would want to schedule a hangout time in order to do that. Alright, Bracer increases projectile speed. Yeah, I could use that. Wings, I move faster. I could definitely use that. Yes. Aside from doing more damage, moving faster is... Oof. Hollow Heart! Cool. Alright, so now I don't have to go search for one. So I have a Whip and Hollow Heart. Don't know what the chances are I could out evolve uh, the whip this game. Well, I guess it depends on how long I stay alive, and then I'll become more likely. All right. It's a lot of braziers around here. Okay. Oh, goody. Chicken. Okay, well. Ah! Um, magic wand. Yeah, I can't do too much about. I can't really. Mm, clouds of bats are gonna be gonna be a problem no matter when they come through. I think for a while at least, until I get some kind of like something like garlic or or I can just if I'm fast enough or skilled enough to maneuver out of their path. I suppose, <laughs> really. I don't think I should be too close to that thing. Mmm, Santa Water. So let's see. Santa Water pairs with the Attract Orb. I don't think there's any Attract Orbs on this map, so I'd have to unlock it, and I just don't, I don't know if, uh, if that's a thing yet. So it's still a good weapon in the meantime. is my reasoning. I'm really taking a lot of damage early on this run. I think I'm being careless. I think I'm definitely assuming that I'm more powerful than I am in this game.
might need. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage, I'm not getting enough orbs. It is only four minutes though. Well. Okay, now it's now it's four minutes. So is this your first time seeing somebody play Vampire Survivors? Leave a note in the comments. Let me know um, what you think of the game or what it looks like. Uh, you've never played it before. Uh, I am not. I am not triggering my weapons. I am merely the vessel for self-triggering weapons. I'm trying to coordinate their automatic triggers with the uh, incoming baddies. So that's what this game is. It's what they call a one-stick twin-stick shooter. There's a fascinating documentary on YouTube about how this game was made. If you're into that kind of thing. I need to get my damage up, yeah. Okay, well, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. can I get to it? I can. All right. Achha! 180, okay, and I got more magic wand. Awesome. Okay, ooh. I say cooldown reduced. Probably should have upgraded the uh, Bible. Hmm. These guys take a lot of damage. Like a lot. Oh, and that guy's still there. There's still a mantis there. What did I kill? A bat? Must have been. Okay, those purple ones aren't so tough. Nor are those brown ones, but these green ones. Ooh, yeah, that's a bugger. Man, these mantises, of course, are strong. Mantises? Mantuses. I see a big cloud of, yep, yeah, bats. Just a simple matter of, oh no! Mm -hmm. Spinach. I need to get more damage per second. It's got to be more damage. Just not doing enough.
You know, it does play differently. It definitely, like in a sense, like the more you level up, the more you, the more badass you get, the more you play, the more you unlock things, combine them, and do all these things. And then uh, after that, it's like, um, not sure how to describe it. There is, it still manages to heighten even beyond the points at which you would think that it couldn't. But it takes. Uh, all right, here we go. I don't know what it is I'm trying to say exactly, but this game is uh, very well. I'm not the first one to say it. It's not no news that this is a very well designed game. Okay. Ouch. That didn't go so well. Hmm, King Battle. Yes, two of those. Well, that will help. That helps. Oh! Nice. I mean, well, I guess... Okay, so... Right now... It takes a lot to level up. Like, I really need to... Okay, alright, well... Okay, well, I guess I just won't be getting that. It is, it is vampire survivors after all, that's not vampires, you know, stop and pick up everything at the risk of your own life. At some point you gotta make a decision to cut and run and hope, okay, well, there's, oh boy, that's not good. Okay, so there's a way, it's not a great way, but it does get you out of there. Let's get that whip up more. Let's see if we can get you, get a box out of you. Alright. More whip. Good. Good, good. That'll be helpful. Yeah, it's doing something, maybe. Now, at some point, these things like cards, these power cards, like unlock, just change the dynamics of the game. And the other bats, like the, the like that weird kind of grayish, maybe I don't know what color that is, but it's got like a white or blue outline. Ugh, it's, it's like that dress, you know? Is it white and gold, or is it? Ugh, I don't know. I like in real life, in the photo? I don't know, what are you talking about? Anyway. So yeah, those bats, then they... Oh, you know, actually no, they're like a dark... A darker blue outline, and, or something, and anyway, those have... I don't know what they are, they're, they're modifier cards? I, I don't know how to describe them. Shoot. I'm not gonna last as long on this one. Goodbye. Keep taking damage, spinach. You can't get out of there. Well, all right. Okay. All right. Nope. That was dumb. All right. Well, I think this is it. And I melted. 12 minutes. All right. I found... Oh, I unlocked garlic. And I unlocked... Orologian. I think. Orologian. Clock Lancet. Cool. 
All right, so very nice. Okay, well, it seems like a good place to leave it. Please go to www.tysonsaner.com to find links to everything on your screen, including anti-social show, the uh, um, Get Me Outside My Comfort Zone. And uh, there we go. And oof. Get Me Outside My Comfort Zone. And Succotash, way down there on the end. Uh, Succotashshow.com is also where you go to find that. But you can find links to that and my red bubble site and a bunch of other stuff if you go to www.tysonsaner.com and also uh i've been trying to update the page with like more mostly recent stuff or stuff i definitely want people to see if they're not like coming across it organically so yeah if you go there oh there's also my soundcloud because my music's on there I've, uh, i'm getting back into making music anyway thank you for watching be decent to each other i will see you the next time i do this bye